Hello and welcome to episode number 17 of the Game Cave UK podcast. Correct. As always, with your hosts, me, Keir Smith, him, Terry Jeffs. Yep. You right, tell? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. <laughs> good to see you again. I know. It's like we've just met. What? What? It's like we've just met. <laughs> yeah, like loads of we haven't been talking to each other for the last 45 minutes. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, what have been you been up to? Ah, <laughs> uh, snap! We've been up to. Oh, okay. Um, no, not much, not much. Um, more, well, yeah, loads, but not a lot of gaming. But sorting out loads of stuff, obviously, for the website and for the YouTube channel, which has launched. It has indeed. Yeah, we uh, went out on Monday last Monday. It's it's weird talking now because I know obviously this is going to be going out the following week, and this is going to be confusing. But by the time this goes out. Obviously, our videos went out last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and yeah, it's been good. It's been good hearing, like, seeing them go up for the first time, seeing feedback from the people that are watching, been getting some comments on them. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. Been cool. Do need more. Yeah, oh yeah, we need more feedback, definitely. If you're watching, good, let us bad, know, give us faults. Whatever. Yeah. General good or bad feedback. Generally Appreciated. Bad. Generally bad. I don't say that. If we had a downer on it. <laughs> Um, yeah, but no, other than that, just been really, really busy with that, really, and, um, focusing on getting the other stuff ready, like, our Let's Plays should be up, one Let's Play should be up by now, like, by the time this goes out, and, yeah, just, just sorting all that ready, and obviously our audio podcast, so, there's been lots of things I've been trying to get going, and, um, yeah, just doing one thing at a time. Excellent. What about you? A little bit of gaming. Yep. Just a little bit. Mm. Um... Mainly, I'll jump back on uh, GTA Five quickly, just to have a look at the uh, the low rider thing right. that's going on. So you actually went you went on that and played that. Yeah, I jumped on for uh, about it wasn't too long, about an hour or so. But basically, it's like a new new set of missions, yeah, based around low rider culture, customization, the, like the San Andreas kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and uh, basically, it's like a new strand of missions um, featuring Lamar. All right. So he's trying to take over the uh, the low rider scene. Uh, Basically, the first mission that you get involved in, you have to do a mission before you can actually visit the uh, the auto shop. I can't remember what it's called now. You are not Los Santos Custom. No, 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 no. It's a new one. What? Like Benny's or something like that. Okay. But um, yeah. So uh, there's a mission at the start where you and three other people from GCA Online. Have to cause a gang war between two different mm. low rider gangs. So, two of you are dressed up as one gang, two of you are dressed up as the other, and you go to the opposing gangs to kick uh, off a turf war. Okay. So, uh, done this, that. This is sounding more and more like San Andreas now. Yeah, exactly. If it was a bit more territorial, a bit yeah. more. Which is gang the one part of San Andreas which I actually didn't like. Really? No, yeah, the one part, I, 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 I love San Andreas, you know, I do. But the one part that really pissed me off was the bit when you was in. Los Santos, and you had to control the game. I've I love that. I've never enjoyed any any game that in, introduces that gameplay element, which there's loads of that. You know, we got to kind of keep the turf going, and then you know, go back and protect it. Just winds me up because it just feels like I'm just endlessly putting out fires. Like it just felt like I was like, right, Clay, like I, I. Is that not sort of the idea? Is yeah, that, that's... but this was always all going on whilst you're just generally playing the game and it just felt like whenever I was in that area I was just like oh I feel like I've just got to keep constantly do this like, it's const- tough on the streets mate it is tough it's, it's street it's fug life but you know I don't want to be doing that I want to be just tr- cruising around in my low rider and just I appreciate your opinion but you are wrong the, the money. that was a great part of that game and I won't have it said that it wasn't moving on <laughs> anyway yeah it sounds similar yeah um, basically I only done that to get into the uh to the custom shop so I could like have a look and see what I could do with regards to the low rider. Yeah. Um, I bought a, cause you have to have a certain type of vehicle, obviously, obviously to get low rider customization. So there's a, now a link on your phone on G, on the, uh, in game <coughs> iPhone 
iFruit. Oh, the iFruit. Do you? Yeah. Do you still use that? Oh well, yeah, you got, like yeah. A... Use that to navigate to the uh, like the showroom, right. and you have to buy one of the lowrider cars hmm. on their page. And there was there was one that was a quarter of a million dollars, hmm. and there was one that was thirty nine, and then a van which was eight or nine, hmm. and another one I can't remember what it was, but I went for the one that was thirty nine, I think it was. Yeah, and then to my shouldn't I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was. Um, going to the garage to and before you can do anything to customise your lowrider you have to have like an upgrade to the vehicle mm. 339 grand what yeah 389 grand Jesus Christ so these kind of numbers uh, make my eyes work because as you know I haven't really played GT Online for my sins but yeah it's um, <laughs> I, I haven't said anything about it at any it's, point uh, yeah I know you know it's on my to-do list you know that I'm, I'm de- definitely going to play it but Obviously, when you start out, you only get a certain... Well, if you can get given with the package that I got, you got 500 grand online. Because yeah. you got a million, didn't you? Split between the campaign and the online. So that would be most of my money just blown away straight away. But I'll be, yeah. obviously, you get a hell of a lot of money like, when you're playing it constantly, right? Yeah. Um, the new so how free... much money have you got on it? Uh, around that around that amount. I haven't really got a million saved up. Oh, really? Okay. A lot of... Uh... Most of the time, when you want to play GTA, you just sort of you end up just dicking around and killing people <laughs> and yeah. going after not investing players. in the stock market. No, definitely not. Hmm. It's the furthest thing from my mind when I'm playing GTA <laughs> is the stock market. Believe it or not, <laughs> bull sec. That's the stock market. <laughs> if you so say what's so. What's actually changed? Like, well, there's no. no like, like, basically, since, there's no, like, I mean, like since GTA went online, and obviously you got the the last thing I think we we talked about mainly was like the heist when yeah. they went like. Is it how different is it a game to to back then? Like, is it have they changed a lot of stuff? Cause yeah, I know it seems a bit. Any... I'll tell you what, it feels a bit more accessible. They've got the new free modes, so yeah. basically, you <clears throat> excuse me, you'll be doing whatever you're doing, and then all of a sudden there'll be a new like purple like menu I come up, this, and yeah. it'll it'll just be a random challenge between everyone else in the map, yeah. and it might be get uh, the highest number of melee kills. Like right. player melee kills, so yeah. obviously everyone's running around with baseball bats trying to kill each other, or it could be it just turns into a crazy free for all. Uh, get the highest speed in a car, so all really? of a sudden everyone just gets sports cars and they just cane it out the motorway. And this is but obviously my, like my personal just fa- on the server you're on, kind of bit like the the map that you're on. Yeah, just in your server. Right. Yeah, um, but my personal favourite was fall the highest from the highest height, or right. fall the most. Oh, okay, I, I, like, I, I yeah, don't yeah, actually yeah. Know. I'm, for I'm, the most I'm not like, word... yeah 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 I know what I'm yeah how, how, what's the correct way to say that for the <laughs> I don't know for the gre- most height the greatest distance no, no, for no. the greatest distance yeah, yeah I suppose that's the closest yeah. way so obviously you just like jet from to the, as high as you can go right no no jumped in the helicopter yeah up as high as I could you get five minutes roughly for each little yeah side I don't know if it varies I haven't done enough of them to notice hmm. but yeah got Got a helicopter, high as I could, gave it about two minutes to go, and then just jumped. Mm. Nothing. This has just got to be a free fall. This has got to be right. So you just got to jump, jump just off. Of... Accept it. No, you take it. You, well, you've got to live. Yeah, you got. To, oh, you've you got, got to jump live. without dying. Oh shit! Yeah. I How should the hell? have said that. Yeah, but yeah, so, and it's just funny to see to try it because you got to, you might jump off of a. So you can parachute. But you got to do it like last second kind of thing. Yeah, you could. You could just detach the parachute, but you'd have to yeah. judge it right so that you yeah. wouldn't yeah, yeah. die. Because but... everyone's going to have the same idea, aren't they? They're all going to go... Yeah, that's the first thing I did. I was mm. like, helicopter up in the air, mm. jump out, done. No, that didn't work like that. Right. It's got to be a free fall. All right, okay. So, I found myself just jumping over an overpass just to see if I'd make it. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but, you live and learn. <laughs> okay. But, yes, yeah, seems like a lot more of a, a lot more accessible now. And they, they, not, they it seems like less menus. Yeah. One of the other modes they added was it like um was it someone turns into a wolf or something like that? I haven't uh, explored that. Because that sounds awesome. Cause it, it sounds a bit like um, what's the game mode you normally get? Like, is it like King of the Hill? Like what you get on Halo, where it's basically there's just one, everyone's yeah. just going for that one person, and that one person normally has like some kind of power, and um, that that sounds brilliant. Like because because everyone just starts chasing one person. 
Which reminds me a bit of Smuggler's Run, which Rockstar done, which is one of the best games on the PS2. Where, like, it was kind of like tag. So, like, someone had to get this, like, package from one to the other. But as soon as someone had, had that package, everyone just went, like, <laughs> like just, like, just trying to ram into them. But, um, it sounds like cool. Like, it sounds like chaos. Yeah. But it's fun. It seems a little bit more, like I say, a bit more accessible now. A bit more, you just jump in and you haven't get got to go through loads of menus. Yeah, it's just, you're earning money straight away. Yeah. You know, if you want to. Hmm. So, yeah. That's I good. will report more if I get on there more. Hmm. But it's a big couple of weeks for games, so... Yeah, it's major. This may, this may well take a back seat again. Yeah. That's always one of those things... It's always on the back, back burner, yeah. yeah. It's never going to go away. No, it's not. It's definitely not dying anytime soon. That's for sure. Um, Anything else? Played a little bit more FIFA. We had yeah. a... Uh, yeah, we started a, the first FIFA 16 competition. Hmm. Um... With guys from works, uh, with guys from works, yeah. Alex and Tony um, played a uh, women's competition. So I played a uh, competition with the women's international teams. Um, random, we done a random draw. There's twelve mm. women's teams in the game, so mm. we picked a a tournament out using all the teams. Uh, Arsenal all, ladies, isn't it? No, it's only international teams. Why the hell not? I don't. I don't know. It's a, they, they, a lot to put in there. Yeah, well, I guess maybe they're just going to keep adding it a lot each year. Yeah, it's not like a, I'm sure it's not down to licensing things, like because you know who else is going to? It's, it's, it's adding a whole new set of players, and I guess like you, it's, it's doubling your workload. Yeah, I mean you got to imagine like the for each FIFA game, they've already got previous scans and stats and everything for all the like male players. So yeah, they're, they're kind of like starting from fresh, aren't they? So they've got a, every single player that I guess they have to. They don't even just like photograph them, like um, photograph them. They have to like do motion capture for each of them, then they like yeah, well, so, yeah, well, a lot of them anyway, like the the main players, yeah, the stars, yeah, everyone else just gets like basic, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basic animation. Okay, cool. But um, yeah, I'm really not enjoying FIFA as much this year. Yeah, I, this is this is really weird for me to actually listen to because normally you're always like when the new FIFA yeah, comes I like out, it when it comes you're out. like proper banging on about it, you've been playing it, like yeah. But now it just seems like you're. I just, um, it just feels a bit, it's, they've sort of tweaked the gameplay this year mm. in a way that I'm not quite liking. It, it, uh, the main thing that is, it's hard to explain, it's hard mm. to say, but I just feel like that when you're playing the game last year in FIFA 15, it had a bit more, you could, it felt like you could genuinely, as you were playing the game, if you were getting on top in a match, it felt like you was building momentum. Right. Like it felt very charged. Yeah. Like the atmosphere of the game, and I, it doesn't feel like that's there this year. Mm. And it feels, I don't know, I feel a little bit deflated with it. Just really, just feel like it's regressed a little bit, maybe. Mm. Not to say that it's a bad game all of a sudden, but it just doesn't have the same feeling. They've, they've tweaked a few things, like the through balls are not as effective. Mm. It's definitely more of a defender's year. Right, okay. That seems to happen with FIFA. You get cycles where one year they'll make defending... Yeah, and then one they, they'll really, They'll really have a go at working it out. And then one year they'll really work on the attacking, work on a new crossing system or something like mm. that. And it'll just tip the favour, tip the balance in the favour of one or the other. Mm. And it feels this year like they've really locked down the defending. And yeah, it just feels like you're getting a lot more nil-nils, one-nils, and it doesn't feel as exciting. Right. So disappointed with that, I... Don't know if I'm going to carry on with it. Maybe go over to Pez this year. Well, uh, we we discussed this. We've got the guys <laughs> who I play with, like really? Alex and Tony, at oh, work. Shit, yeah, just, we we, we did. We 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 basically, you know, someone said someone threw it out there. Said, should we get Pez this year? Should we try it out? Yeah. And uh, I mean, I'm up for trying something that's a like another good football game, and I haven't played Pez for quite a while now, so it might be something that. I look into but well as I was saying the before, price like, would have to be right given what's yeah, coming up I'm sure it will like, normally it drops price like quite soon after release but um, yeah I mean I remember showing you when it, when it released like the reviews they were saying it is back to it's best since the PS2 days like, and as you know like, you know, I used to play like that, that was my that was that, the, the PS2 era that was my my football game like you of know choice it definitely and then it started to you know once they 
went into the you know next gen like PS3 and Xbox 360, it started to go downhill, and that's when FIFA started to get really good again. Like from about FIFA 07, about that about that point when it because let's yeah. face it, FIFA was shit from about. 2001 to well, 2007. Them early, them early PS2 years yeah, were, they were, were terrible. some really that's when, dire like, offerings. That's when Provo came in and it was like, okay, that's a proper football game. And then, But then they stepped it up at FIFA with 07 and it's got better ever since and they players went down. But now, it feels like they've kind of come up there and alongside it again. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see because I haven't played a football game properly. Like, you know, I haven't owned got a football game. No, since those early kind of PS3 days and I just never although, although I love like the look you know FIFA's amazingly polished I can't I, there's nothing I can say about FIFA to fault it it's just it doesn't there's something in it it just doesn't grab me it just doesn't that that what okay. when you know when I used to play Pro Evo how that did you know and I don't know why that is and it'd be interesting to see if the new one does the new new uh, Pro Evo yeah, I'll look into that if it becomes Cause available we need, at a good price. We need to play some football games, like, you know, for the channel and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, we could do, you know, both, maybe. We'd, we'd definitely, obviously, do some FIFA stuff, but, yeah, maybe if we get pairs as well, we can go switch back and forth. Excellent. Keep it interesting. Yeah. Definitely. Watch out for that on the Let's Plays. Yeah. Available on the YouTube channel, called. <laughs> Never heard of it. Okay, Game Cave UK. You're probably watching it right now, I'm guessing. Or you're listening to it, maybe. Either way. Either way, yeah. Game Cave UK on YouTube. Dot. Sorry? Dot com. Anyway. Okay. Uh, where have you been playing? That's pretty much it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I've not got much in. Just cool. standard Rocket League. Yeah. Fills the time. Yeah. And I've got 10 minutes spare. A couple of games. Does me. It's awesome. Ties me over for the day. Yeah. It's just a staple now. <laughs> it is. Do you reckon it'll always be... Like, I, I can't see it going anywhere. No. It'll always be there along with your FIFA and maybe GTA, like, just always, like, just wedging itself in between. It's, it's above FIFA now. It's, oh! It's, 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 yeah, it's... A, FIFA, it's a, you're out, mate. You're out in the street. Instant classic. You can chuck all your, your football kit on the side of the road. Get out. Changing tyres in the uh, changing room now. Yeah. Turn, yeah. turn the changing room into a pit stop, baby. It's all about the Rocket League. Long may it continue. Yeah. Um... You've been playing anything? No, I haven't been playing anything, which has been disgraceful. But like I said, I haven't really had a chance because obviously just been focusing on getting this stuff out. And then once it's all sorted and we're in a good routine, we can get back on and particularly start streaming. Because once I get on back on it, I'm going to be streaming every game I play. So start, and start with Metal Gear Solid 5. So that's my main thing. So yeah. Okay, cool. 